many people have asked me this question what's the difference between f test z test and t test and to explain this concept better with a practical example i have taken many examples directly from many tab to illustrate the difference between f test z test and t test before we further move on let me just give briefing about f test z test and t test f test is meant for to find out the variances of two or more uh, you know the variables for example the gas let's say input and output you wanted to find out the variance how much is there then you can use f test and f test you will find it in many uh, in excel also you can go to data analysis you can find that f test two sample for variances in the mini tab you will find something called uh, the variances two sample variances you can find it that is the you will not find the direct word called f test but you will find two sample variances similarly z test z test and uh, t test are closely related why because both are meant for mean to find out the mean is significant or not but z test is meant when the standard deviation is known we can use z test for example let's say one particular machine or device or any apparatus is known to give some standard deviation then you will accept that and then you will perform z test as such similarly the last one is the t test t test is meant for to find whether the variance whether the means are are uh, significantly differ or not right all these tests are coming from the hypothesis family we are going to do lot many examples uh, and using the sample which is given in mini tab and we are going to do it in uh, so directly with all the examples and the interpretation directly in a mini tab so i'm i have opened the mini tab and all i'm doing it i'm going to file and open worksheet and you can click here so you can just say furnace give okay so this is the we are interested only in btu input and output right and you can find it here stat and then the, the two values btu input is coming from damper 1 and btu in output is coming from damper 2 we are going to perform those two tests right and go to stat and go to basic statistic you will find two variances as i said the two variances are in the excel you will find f test both sample in one column for example if say if you wanted to measure btu input versus the tamper you can easily find it out let's say we want like that we can easily find out or you wanted to find it in its own column that is sample 1 and sample 2 let's say we wanted to find out sample 1 and sample 2 and in options i'm gonna keep it like 95 percent confidence and graph i'm going to select the histogram also and give okay and result the same thing okay so you can find that histogram has come up and more importantly we're going to find out this value so uh, so when you say variances uh, you have a two theorem one is uh, distribution bonnet test and uh, levin test so you can see here the value is 0.92 i'll tell you how that 0.92 has been calculated this is nothing but btu input divided by btu output right the gas has been measured in the input and output has been measured and then the standard deviation so here the standard deviation from standpoint it is 2.8 so how the standard deviation is calculated 0.92 if you square up you will find this value and if you square this 0.928 and you will find this value so this standard deviation also find out and then almost close together and for more detail you can go to session folder in the session folder you can find here this is the important aspect null hypothesis if btu input divided by output if it is equal to one one and here for example here the variance is 10 and here also variance is 10 then we can say null hypothesis both are same if it is different 
for example let's say uh, anything which is not equal to 1 is called alternate hypothesis and the confidence significant level we are going to go with 0 0.05 that means 95% confidence and you can see here the variance between input uh, n equal to 10 and standard deviation variance everything and the ratio of standard deviation how it has been calculated is 8.2 225 divided by 9.5 for example even if you do it in excel you will end up having the same value for example i have already done here 8.5 divided by 9.2 is 0.92 right so this is what it is uh, this has been uh, showing up and the ratio of variance and the standard deviation is also found and variance also found right so this two uh, this the first one is a standard deviation 0 0.2.8 divided by 3 and the other one is 8.2 divided by 9.5 and then you can also find that method there are two methods bonnet and levin so you can find the what is the significant value 0 0.5 and that means we are going to accept the null hypothesis as an individual point of view right and so this is how it is uh, the variance is coming from the both the one and if you go only by the variances uh, and you will find the ratio of that then there is it is this is not equal to one because it is uh, 0.862 right i hope you find it uh, useful another example will take it to uh, understand this is better you can right click here For example, you can just do a right click here. You will find stat guide in this through the stat guide. Also, you can find it. In the stat guide, you will find uh, this is the one which we discuss, right? Uh, so now we have another sample. So this is a sample one. A recent study compared driver of two type of roads. Each driver drove on one of the two roads types first class road and that is one the dirt road that is two as a measure of driving performance the tester recorded the number of steering correction each driver made on each type of the road that is one and two you want to test if the driver performance were equally variable across the two road condition road dot mtw it is there so you can just go to file look in many type sample data folder and you can find road dot empty click here so this is the road type uh, so one and two that is uh, road one is the neat road and the road two is that the road right that's what they have given and then correction how much steering correction they have done go to stat and you can go to two samples two variances sorry two variances and are in one column i will give f3 so that it will clear out sample so how much correction been done steering correction and what's the sample id that is road type one and two give okay you will find here that uh, according to bonnet so it is 0.82 and according to Levin, it is 0.823. And road one, you can see that variance is uh, this is standard deviation, sorry, 4.8. And uh, this one is 5.8. The standard deviation is different, right? So dirt road has more standard deviation than uh, the safe road. So you can also see that uh, the uh, box plot also as well. This is very, very interesting and the significant value also you can find it. For more information, you can go to session folder also. For example, in the session folder, it says that if the, let me go back here. So null hypothesis, standard deviation one divided by standard deviation two, that is, uh, sorry, variance one divided by variance two. Uh, that is, or you can also say that standard deviation. So we can see E1, and then uh, if it is not equal to one, it is alternate hypothesis. You can find here the standard deviation is 0.82, that is 4.8 divided by 5.8 and variance is 23 divided by 34.67 you can also find that significant value this is not significant from the individual point of view and you can easily find it out this way this is all about uh, the test called f test is also called two variances 